There's a lot more Charles Rogers and Peter Warricks than there are Jerry Rices. Here are this year's potential wide receiver draft busts. Hey, I'm Bill Enright from FootballNation.com with Todd DeVries, and we're going over the draft busts at the wide receiver position for the 2016 draft class. We'll start off with Ohio State's Braxton Miller. Bill, he's probably one of the more versatile athletes in college football, but is he one of those guys who's a jack-of-all-trades, master of none? Mm -hmm. That could be the case. He is going to be heavily, heavily dependent upon what team picks him, Bill. Right. You need a team that can utilize his abilities. Uh, you know, We're not sure if he really has the hands to play wide receiver in the NFL. He only had 26 catches for Ohio State last year. They didn't use him that much. He made some big plays, some highlight real plays, but I'm just not sure, you know, that he's going to live up to the hype. You know, he's not going to play quarterback in the NFL, that's for sure. Now, now, to be fair, let's think about some of the creative offensive minds uh, around the NFL. Someone maybe that would use Braxton Miller as one of those luxury picks that we like to talk about. Some of these established offenses in the league. Um, Patriots. You, right, Patriots. Steelers. I was thinking Steelers, Packers. Yeah, yeah. Um, those, what, are the, those are the ones that pop off the, the page. And again, like you said, luxury picks. These are teams that already established they already have players in those positions but can bring him in as a special a special weapon right so that's where you, if you're a Braxton Miller fan that's where you want him to go okay and then also uh, also at as a wide receiver potential bust you have Duke Williams from Auburn yeah Bill if you would have gone rewind the tape maybe two years ago uh, he's probably projected to be a first round draft pick oh wow. he's kind of like Laquan, Laquan Treadwell big guy 6'2 220 plays like a man child played in the SEC but he started to build up these, these off-the-field concerns, these character issues. He got booted off of Auburn's team, I think, week five last fall. And he even said it himself. I dug up a quote from Williams recently during his workouts. He says, I have first-round talent, but my character is a seventh-round pick. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> so that says it all. Now, I mean, technically, I guess you could, you know, uh, you could consider him a super deep sleeper if you right. get his act together. But I don't know. I, I wouldn't draft this guy. I might grab him as an undrafted free agent, see if he pans out. But he's got bust written all over him. At least he's himself, he's admitting that he knows that he has some character issues. So that's usually a good sign that maybe he's willing to work on it. Johnny Manziel admitted to his issues, too. Yeah, well, that's true. What was he doing last week? Partying and trashing L.A. house or something? And now he's at Coachella partying uh, yeah. with uh, you know the band. So. All right. Braxton Miller, Duke Williams, be careful if uh, your team drafts them. We'll see what happens during their rookie season. For more NFL draft coverage, head over to footballnation.com.